Hi, I'm Christina Warren, Senior Tech Analyst at Mashable.com, and today is my second day living with Lumia. So this is how it's been working. Um, starting yesterday, uh, I have embarked on a 10-day project to give up my iPhone 5. It is locked away in a desk drawer, and instead I am using only the Lumia 920 running Windows Phone 8. So um, I'm about 36 hours into the, the process now, and it's, it's going pretty well. You know, yesterday I spent most of the day kind of getting my data, my passwords, uh, email accounts, calendars, all that stuff moved over um, from my old device and from my computer system to the phone. And today um, I actually was working from home um, because I was reviewing a product and I was having some software issues with it unrelated to, to anything mobile. So I had to work from home. Um, but, uh, you know, I've still been using the app or the phone rather, and using a number of apps, using it to tweet, send Facebook status updates, text, do phone calls, that sort of thing. So I think kind of you know the two areas I want to focus on today are apps and browsing the web. So uh, let's let's first start with the web browser. So Windows Phone 8 uses um, Internet Explorer. Um, they use basically like the desktop version of IE9, IE10, and uh, it it does a really good job. It's a really nice browser. It's fast. It's responsive. Um, the one issue that I've had, and this is not Windows Phone's fault, uh, but it is that a lot of web developers, when they develop for mobile, they uh, conflate that with developing for WebKit. Now, WebKit is the rendering engine that Google uses, that Microsoft, that uh, Apple uses. It's ap actually a, a project that's under Apple's stewardess, and uh, you know, BlackBerry uses it. Nokia, before they switched um, to Windows Phone, used it for for their browsers. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, major companies use WebKit, and so it is certainly the most dominant rendering engine on mobile. But it is but it is not the only one. You know, in addition to uh, there's Opera Mobile, there's also uh, you know Trident, which is what what you know Internet Explorer uses, and then there's also Firefox. Uh, so, you know, frankly, it's kind of disappointing to see, and I was on some sites, and these are not small sites, I'm not going to name them, I don't want to put anybody on blast, but when visiting their sites, you know, they would kind of freeze up when trying to do either their responsive or mobile view, there was usually some sort of JavaScript issue, and, and there were a number of sites, you know, I couldn't view at all, um, and again, you know, that's not a Windows Phone thing, that is simply a web developers not coding, um, completing mobile with, with WebKit thing. Um, fortunately, Windows Explorer, or Internet Explorer rather, they do have a way where you can view sites um, in desktop mode. The only issue that I've had with that a little bit is that the, the resolution of the phone sometimes wreaks havoc with, uh, with viewing in desktop mode because if they are responsive designs and they're not going, they're, they're not doing things the right way or, or maybe as you, you would think they would and they're just looking at the straight resolution and not the, the, the number of pixels or M's or whatever. I can have kind of an issue displaying stuff correctly. Um, I will say that I think that the Mashable.com, our new beta site, looks awesome. So, uh, you know, more people should kind of do what we're doing. Um, a plug for Robin and Chris and, and Darren and Mario and the whole team have been doing a great job on our mobile site. Uh, so that's, you know, just my, my, my plea to developers. Do not conflate mobile with WebKit when designing your stuff. Test and everything uh, because... It, you know, it, it sucks when, when a site won't load uh, through no fault of the, the rendering engine, but because their JavaScript gets, gets locked up in something. Okay, so enough about web browsing. Um, although, I, again, I want to say you quite enjoy the web browser. Let's talk about apps. So one of the comments that people have made, um, you know, uh, it was funny, I think it was Matthew from the Next Web. His comment was, uh, you know, great hardware, uh, good phone, no apps, same as last year. And I don't really think that that's, a fair assessment. Um, it certainly is true that the app situation could be better, and it's certainly true that I wish that there were apps such as Instagram or, or that Spotify was, was working correctly uh, on the phone and that the Dropbox had a native app already. The app situation is a lot better than I, than I thought it would be, and it's certainly a lot better than it was this time last year, and even last time I was like looking at Windows Phone 7.5, I guess, like in like February or March. Um, there are a number of, of good apps, you know, and I haven't run into a situation yet where I haven't been able to find an app to do the task that I've wanted. There have certainly been examples where there are games that I wish that I could play and I can't, but uh, there are also some really great games. Um, but when it comes to actual usability and actually, like, finding apps to do everything, aside from Instagram, I haven't run into a situation where I haven't been able to do anything. Yesterday I was talking about how I was looking for a good Insta paper client. Uh, I, at the time, I downloaded articles, which I liked enough, but I, I didn't love. There were some little, you know, there were just some things I didn't like about it. But I found another one. It's called Comfortable Viewing for, or Comfortable Reading for Instapaper. Awesome. Awesome app. I really like that. And that's actually an area I kind of want to focus on real quickly because I discovered that one because I downloaded it as a trial 
really liked the app and then bought it. And that's a feature I think that a lot of people overlook when they look at Windows Phone, is that for the most part, you know, most apps have a way to try it out first, and that includes games. Sometimes, um, you know, the, the try it version will have ads or will have reduced features. Sometimes you're limited in functionality, like you can only view five articles or you can only use it for X number of time. And then you've got to buy the full thing. Uh, but that's a really great option that, that the other platforms don't have. You know, um, Android has a great return window, but that window it, it used to be like 24 hours, and that was way too much. And people were abusing that, and now I think it's like 15 minutes. But sometimes, you know, just having a way to kind of use an app and get a feel for it before spending out the money is a good thing. And as somebody who's probably already spent 20 or 30 dollars in the the Windows marketplace uh, testing out various things, I can definitely say that, that that's a, a great feature. Uh, so a uh, comfortable reader for, for um, Instapaper is awesome. I also want to recommend uh, Bacon It as a Reddit client. That's really good. I'm still looking for the perfect Twitter client. Haven't found it. Trying a lot of other stuff. Uh, but you know what? To be fair, the, the Twitter client situation on Android is, is terrible too. And Android has, you know, like 75% of the market and they still don't have a good third-party Twitter client. So don't feel bad for Windows Phone. You know, it's, it's, it's not just you. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been playing a lot with Nokia Music, and um, I'm about to go set this up with my Xbox account um, and uh, use it with, uh, you know, the, um, with my, my profile and, and set my Xbox Music up and see how that, that plays around. So, you know, so far so good. Um, I'm 36 hours in, and uh, I don't have the shakes yet. I, I am still, you know, I still do love my Apple. You can check it out. I'm wearing my, my Apple hoodie today that I got at the Apple company store in Cupertino. But, uh, but it's good. Um, as always, I'm reading your comments and taking your feedback seriously. If you have any questions uh, you want me to answer, leave them in the comments or send me an app message at film underscore girl. And tomorrow we are going to be doing a Google Plus Hangout. Um, from the Mashable account where you can ask me questions and you can say, hey, you know, what does this work? Have you tried this? And we can have a kind of broader discussion about the, the, the mobile ecosystem as it exists at the end of 2012. So if you have any questions or you're wanting to kind of see how this is going, be sure to tune in. We'll post more details about that in the morning. Um, but until then, like I said, just leave, uh, leave me your comments. And uh, that's it. Thanks, guys.